What's up YouTube, it's your main man, ABD Hero, back again with another video. And today I wanna to share the story with you all of the JBA and JBA USA's production team and how they lost $40,000 worth of equipment. So if you've been following the channel for a while, you subscribed and you hit that bell, you've seen some of the live streams where I've talked about things that are currently happening with the BBB. And I've expressed some of my concern about how as time goes on, you'll begin to hear more and more stories from people who feel like um, their belief in the league and some of the things that were supposed to happen are becoming more and more confounded, especially because the communication between league officials and administrators and players and personnel has been pretty much non-existent since leaving JBA USA in November. Um, one of these stories has come out again, which has resulted in me starting a petition trying to help players get back into the NCAA and also reaching out to some representation trying to help these players get placed on professional teams. Another story has come out and there's a group of people who are asking you guys for help as well. Now, if you are a fan of the JBA and JBA USA and you watched all the broadcasts, you'll remember a time in London where me and Manny were using uh, different equipment. We were using these handheld mics that looked super old school. And at that time, what we said to everybody was, because we were in London and this was a historic game, they wanted to use um, traditional equipment for like broadcasting in London and England and all of that stuff. At that time, that's what we were told. So that's what we share with you all. Later on, we actually found out what really happened. So throughout the JBA USA tour, we traveled by the JBA USA tour bus, we traveled by plane, we traveled by boat, and throughout that whole time, there was this van that was carrying all of the production equipment that would follow us. So in times where, let's say, when we went from London to Turkey, this van who had all this production equipment that they couldn't get on the plane would then have to drive that distance. In between the time that we were leaving Belgium and heading to London, the van that was carrying all of the production equipment that was used to stream the games um, made a detour in Amsterdam before heading to London. As they parked the van at their hotel, they came out the next morning and the windows were cracked and some of their equipment was stolen. $40,000 worth of cameras, um, broadcasting equipment, microphones, all of these things that are here on this list here. It's a, a ton of stuff and it's in euros too, which conversion wise is more than just regular US dollars as well. I'll be honest with you, I really have to commend these guys for what they were still able to do after that difficult situation. Like I said, they went to London and still had a broadcast found equipment to rent and we were able to continue broadcasting all of the games for the remainder of the tour and if you follow along and you watch some of those games you see that our configurations of headsets and microphones look different from city to city country to country after that stop in london that's actually why um and so i'll have to give them props for being able to continue to work and be professional because that's a big L to have to take. $40,000 worth of equipment is, is a huge loss. And then to continue to bounce back and have to start renting equipment in order to keep the tour going, that shows some perseverance. One of the reasons why I feel compelled to make this video is because while these guys were hired to be the production crew, in a lot of countries, they acted as our tour guides and translators as we navigated throughout Europe. Within that, a lot of us created some strong relationships with these guys. So it's really tough to see them have to take this type of loss. And really when you think about it, 
it sucks because it's, it's just like the situation with the big baller brand and the JBA is that the people up at the top may take a loss. The guy who owns the company and, and lost all of that equipment, he may be the one who is taking the brunt of it. But when you look at the people under him and, and the employees and families and stuff like that, everybody's getting hurt by this situation. Um, and so these are some great guys. And what they have done is they've started a GoFundMe and they're asking, if you appreciated the quality product that they put out every night for the JBA and also JBA USA, if you could just chip in a little bit of uh, make a small donation and help them be able to kind of get some of their equipment back and continue to run business as usual. Now, um, the guy who whose company it is, Proud Folks, he probably would never even ask, but his son was somebody who wanted to help out. So he created this GoFundMe account. And uh, if you look at the link there on the page, if you have any questions, you can send them a question directly. After I posted this on Twitter, a couple folks said, yo, AB, um, what about this? What about that? So one of the questions was insurance. Was the equipment insured? And from what I was told is that, and it makes a lot of sense, is that the insurance just became too expensive because they were moving from country to country, from city to city. So obviously different policies and different things would have to be enacted depending on legislation in certain areas. So it became, insurance became too expensive. So the insurance became too expensive in order to keep it throughout the duration of the tour. Like I said, if you have any more questions, and that was kind of the main one. And also, it wasn't Alan Foster. It wasn't Jello. There was a lot of jokes about that yesterday uh, when I posted it over on Facebook. But um, if you can, if you got a couple extra dollars and you can make a donation, man, it would be much appreciated. Um, I've already made a small donation. I don't got a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? I don't really be YouTubing like that to make the dollars and dollars and dollars. But uh, it's a, it, it would be definitely a worthy cause for you to, to throw a little donation at. And, uh, man, I appreciate y'all. Shemaine, man, AB Euro, I'm out. Peace.